Communications and Multimedia Minister Saifuddin Abdullah caused quite a stir yesterday after he told Dewan Rakyat that a license from FINAS is required for all filming activities in Malaysia, even for personal use on social media. Since he said that in Parliament on Thursday morning, he was heavily criticised, prompting him to issue a clarification in the evening that the government does not intend to use the FINAS Act to stifle personal freedoms. He also said what he said in Parliament in response to Kulang MP Wong Su Ki was merely to explain the FINAS Act as it currently stands. Here's a recap of what he said. Tafsiran filem tu, sama ada tafsiran filem tu yang disebut dalam akta finas ni, merangkumi semua filem uh, termasuk TikTok ataupun IGTV yang semua dipamir dalam media sosial atau tidak. Kerana kalau akta ni dikuat kuasa dengan uh, apa yang berlaku sekarang, maksudnya semua pengguna media sosial perlu mohon lesen dari finas. Jadi minta menteri memberi satu penjelasan yang jelas kepada seluruh rakyat Malaysia. Terima kasih. Following this, Speaker Information Chief Shamsul Iskandar Mohamed Akin today called on the government to review the functions of the FINAS Act and to abolish current film licensing requirements under the law. According to Shamsul, Section 22 Bracket 1 of the Act, which is on the need for license to distribute, exhibit or produce any moving images, is no longer relevant in today's context. Referring to when the Act was first mooted, he said the environment in the 1980s and today is vastly different. He added that the provision cannot be used to address current enforcement and development challenges. With that, he said the requirement for individuals to obtain a FINAS license must be abolished. At the same time, leeway should be given for media practitioners to meet the licensing requirements. Shamsul clarified that PKR does not deny the need to control materials that could impact the country's peace and harmony, but he stressed there is an important need for creative content development. Last night, PKR Communications Director Fahmi Fahdil had demanded Saifuddin's resignation after three major missteps, which included the latest FINAS fiasco.